Monica is an ardent advocate for the rights of women through the women's group, the South Road for Gospel Church. Today, Monica is an accomplished missionary and a proud mother of five children who are all professionals. Two teachers, one communicator, one studying law at the University of Guyana, and the other studying med medicine in China. I will invite the deputy the Director of Public Prosecution, Madam Shalimar Aliha, who is also a commissioner on the Women and Gender Equality Commission, to do this presentation for us. Monica, on behalf of the chairperson and members of the commission, I am honored to present this award to you and uh, you have done us women well <laughs> and I it's it's a room full of women who have shattered the ceiling and the walls Omawati <laughs> Barrett here's some plantation perseverance on the Esquibo Coast. She spent her childhood days with her 11 siblings in a poverty-stricken environment. She attended the former Fisher Primary School, but left her parents when she was eight years old to live with an adopted mother, where she continued her schooling until age 13. She later returned to her biological parents where she was forced to work in order to su supplement the household income. She worked in denim buffalo jeans at the Gobin's garment factory, where she walked approximately four miles daily to and from work. Do you remember buffalo jeans? Some of you are too young to know. <laughs> at the age of 27, she fell in love with Barrett, a chauffeur from Windsor Castle, whom she married, and their union blessed her with three children, two boys and a girl. She worked as a seamstress, sold vegetables and flowers, while her husband continued as a chauffeur. Her family then moved to Demerara, where she started a large-scale poultry farm. Her two sons subsequently were awarded the government scholarship to Cuba. Her two children are all professionals, an engineer, a medical doctor, and a trained teacher. Obuati says, with God, all things are possible. And so I will invite <coughs> former director of the Women's Affairs Bureau, Professor <coughs> Hallie Burnett, to do this presentation for us.
to make meaningful sacrifices and invest in your children so that you can be glorified by their output. I will invite Karen Van Slightman Corbin, who is a member of the Women and Gender Equality Commission representing labor to do this presentation. on behalf of the Women and Gender Equality Commission and to say we continue to encourage you in your pursuit. Sabra Bashir also hails from the Eskimo Coast. In 1959, she got married and her union with her husband produced six children. She is a member of the Women's Progressive Organization since 1964 and was involved by her husband to become involved. She attended seminars, congresses, and conferences, also in Cuba and Grenada. SAPRA coordinated women's programs and projects on the Cuba community, as well as in the Pomeroon River and served on statutory boards, such as the local board of guardians and the Ghana Post Office Corporation. She is also the Regional Democratic Council of Region 2, and the chairman and chairperson of the Regional Women's Affairs Committee in Region 2. She sees women's role in continuing development of Guyana as working with women and men on an equal basis, especially in male-dominated areas. I will invite a member of the commission who, on our commission, represented the Women's, Women's Regional Women's Affairs Committee. But today, she is the vice chairman of the Regional Democratic Council of Region 2. Congratulations. 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 Keep up the good work. 
And quickly, you weren't for me to just say that I want to say I'm also helping the farmers in the home room to find markets for their coconuts, which yes. was a challenge. <laughs> The deputy chair would have given a tribute and her token was accepted on her behalf. But I would like to acknowledge Karen. Could you just give Stand. me Karen for And Karen is very dear to me because I lectured to her at the University of Guyana and she was an outstanding student. their tribute translated in Braille so that they were able to read those that are uh, visually appearing. And I would like to acknowledge Ms. Ingrid Peters, the person who has been coming to my office and working assiduously to get those three at least, which she's going to finish all. We're going to have all 15 before the end of the exhibition. But I would like to acknowledge Ingrid Peters for translating those. Quite busy. No two pieces. No woman, no cry. No woman, no cry. And the last piece. When I grew up and fell in love, I asked my sweetheart, What lies ahead? Shall we have rainbows day after day? Is what my sweetheart said. Que sera, sera, whatever will be, be, the future's not ours to see, que sera, sera.